Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. It's Friday. Time for a new Q&A video. And today I have an email all the way from Dallas, Texas. And it's filled with a lot of questions. And I'm going to try and see if I can answer all of the questions in this Q&A video. Now, it's coming from an upcoming DJ. And he was confused about a couple of things. So let's see if we can help him out. Number one. I have two laptops, one is a HP and the other is a Mac. I download my music on the HP and then transfer it over to my Mac. Is it bad to do this? My Mac is the one I use for my gigs. Well, actually it's not bad at all. You can definitely do that. Uh, in my case, I download a lot of my music from my record pools right here at home. And I do that on either my Windows computer or my Mac. And after I download, I might not even take all the songs that I downloaded and put them on my actual MacBook that I bring when I DJ. So you can download it to a computer, make your selection, and then move it over to the DJ computer that you have. It's not gonna affect the quality or anything like that, so you can do that. You could also just download it straight to the computer that you use to DJ, but you might get it all clotted up if you download a lot of stuff that you might not even use to DJ. So you can do it, no problem at all. Number two, should I download my music to my laptops or should I use an external hard drive? Um, if so, which do you recommend? I currently have a Toshiba Passport, one terabyte, and is it safe to DJ during a gig from your external hard drive? Now, I do know DJs that play from external hard drive. I never really like to do it, but you can if you have enough USB ports. It's not really a problem. I did notice in the beginning when I did do it once or twice that Serato will work or load a little bit faster if it's coming from the local hard drive. Uh, it could be that I was using an older external hard drive and that the newer ones work a lot faster. That could be the case. But you know what it is? I like to keep my folders small. So the DJs that would bring their external hard drive, they would bring like 400 gigs of music, 400 gigabytes of music. Totally useless. You're never gonna spin that amount of music. But some people prefer to bring their whole collection when they go to DJ. So if you wanna bring all your music, you can use the external hard drive if you don't wanna fill up the hard drive on the actual computer that you use. It's always good to leave some space on your DJ computer. So that way it will, it will run smoother. If you really fill up that hard drive, eventually it will slow the computer down a bit. So you can use an external hard drive, but in my opinion, it's always better to try and keep your folders, your music folder on your DJ computer smaller or use that external hard drive. So you can, I just don't do it myself. Um, by the way, if you're watching this, Share your methods. If you use an external hard drive, let us know what you use. Let us know what computer you use. Uh, do you download on a separate computer and then put it on your DJ computer? Share that info in the comment section down below. All right, number three. All my music is organized by genre in iTunes. So all my songs in Serato show up just how they are in iTunes. Is this good or bad? When I use Serato, I do not have a single crate organized. I pretty much go by memory and how the climax of the party or event is. I may set up a crate depending on if it's a wedding and put on songs that I have to play. Well, a lot of your questions, I can say right now, are not a good or bad situation. It's all about personal preference. I prefer to have folders, but you don't have to use folders. If you know your iTunes, um, track list, know how your uh, songs are organized in iTunes, that could work for you. You could also try and use a couple smart crates in Serato. I will make a separate video to talk about smart crates, but if it's working for you, go ahead. And like you said, if you do special events like a wedding, it might be a good idea to make a special folder with special tracks that you have to play for that specific gig. So again, you can definitely do that. Oh, wait, my phone just shut down. All right, here we go. So it's not my method, but you can definitely do it that way. Number four, I'm looking into signing into two record pools because I don't want to download music off YouTube anymore. Very good. You can download off YouTube. It's not always, or in most cases, it won't be legal and the quality probably will never be as good as the, uh, the quality that you get when you download from a record pool, which is legal. 
Um, I am Latin and living here in Dallas. I have to play hip hop, EDM, and of course my main focus is Latin music. Two problems I have um, that I'm facing is that I really can't find a DJ pool with intro or transition songs and a DJ pool with old and new Latin music. Salsa, merengue, bachata, reggaeton. Um, a lot of the DJ pools I see do have intros and special edits, so you might not be looking in the right place. So for instance, Franchise Record Pool that I use definitely has intros, outros. Crate Connect had some intros and outros if I remember correct, but I've seen a lot of DJ pools. Make sure to check my DJ pool video. I'll put a link in the description because a lot of you have dropped their info and a lot of them had intros and special edits and stuff like that. And I, uh, no, I don't remember the name. I do believe that there was also at least one or two people who there were one or two people who dropped a Latin record pool. So it should be out there. I'm not familiar with it, but make sure you check that video, check the comment section. All right, I hope that helps you out. And if anyone is watching and you have that Latin record pool, please put it into the comment section down below. Number five, some of the songs on my library have no BPM. How or what do I have to do to fix this? This is another reason why I won't stop downloading songs from YouTube, because even if they don't have BPM, sometimes the beat grids are not on cue. So I decided to invest some time into what I enjoy doing, especially if I wanna make a career out of this art. Um, if some of the tracks don't have BPM, just go ahead and download Mixmeister BPM um, Analyzer. It's free software and it will download or download it will analyze all your songs and put the bpm in the mp3 tag simple as that that works um there's different programs that can do it as well i believe you can even analyze them in serato and it'll give you a bpm so that should not be a problem mm, lastly mr tlm what is your favorite sport soccer since you live in the netherlands uh well netherlands the netherlands is definitely a soccer country so a lot of people over here grow up, grow up with football that's how we call it that is the original name but in the states you call it soccer um so i did play uh soccer uh outside with kids and during breaks at school but no my favorite sport is definitely basketball i played basketball for 10 years i played on the highest level here in the netherlands and blame it on hip-hop because somehow basketball and hip-hop were kind of synonymous they, they go together and i love basketball so that's definitely my favorite sport and it's not really sport but I like working out, working out like crazy right now, aching all over, really getting back into it. And occasionally I will hook up with a couple of dudes that I used to play with and some people that I don't know. We rent a little court inside, it's like a gym, and um, we play ball. So basketball, definitely. So I think that's everything. I knew there were a lot of questions, but actually this was not that hard to answer. So a lot of the questions, it comes down to personal preference and I didn't really see anything as bad. It's good that you wanna go download from a legal source, get better quality music, make sure you get all the BPM, either with Mixmeister BPM Analyzer or try it in Serato, that's gonna help you out as well. And um, if you have any trouble finding the record pool, check my record pool video, or maybe in the comment section down below, someone can help you out. That's all for now. Make sure to share the knowledge, guys. We can all help each other out. And I have some special videos on the way, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Click that thumbs up if you enjoyed the info, and I will be back on Monday.